Hello future dragons, my name is Mr. Kopecki, and this video will introduce you to a great opportunity you will have when you get to middle school. You'll be asked to select what we call Encore classes in addition to your math, science, societies, and English classes. These choices will include band, chorus, and orchestra. During the rest of this video, we are going to talk more about the middle school music programs and your instrument choices. The first thing to know is that band, chorus, and orchestra are year-long programs. We encourage everyone to try one of the music classes. The music program is a chance for you to learn an instrument or improve your singing voice without having to pay for private lessons. And you are fortunate that Moore County Schools offers you this opportunity in middle school. The rest of this video will give you more information about the programs. Hi, rising sixth graders. I'm Ms. Gwaltney, and I'm going to be your school counselor for your sixth grade year at Southern Middle School. Welcome to Southern Middle and welcome to being a dragon. We're so glad you're here. This video was just to let you know a little bit about your encore choices that you'll have for sixth grade. Music encore choices will include orchestra, band, vocal music, and if at any time in your life you were excited to maybe try playing an instrument, this is the year to do it. Mr. Kopecki and Ms. Edgerly can walk you through instrument selection and what you need to know. Again, we're so glad you're here and we hope you enjoy this video. There are two categories of wind instruments you can select if you decide to join band. Those are brass wind instruments and woodwind instruments. There's lots of different instruments in a band class, but today we're going to look at the main four options that you get to select from if you decide to join band. This is a clarinet. Clarinet is a woodwind instrument. Historically, they were made from wood. They also feature a reed, and they have keys. A lot of people will look at these and think the keys are a little confusing because there is a lot going on here. Promise you it's not difficult. With most of your woodwind instruments, clarinet included, you only do about 10% right here. 90% is done with your fingers, but they never leave this position. Super simple. When you play a clarinet, you blow across the reed, and it generates a sound from the vibration. Once you put it on the rest of the instrument, it gets a lot better. So it can play a wide range of sounds, beautiful instrument. It's also a really good choice if you're really excited about being in band, but you're not quite sure what you want to pick, but you like the idea of woodwinds. Clarinet's an excellent choice, because you can switch to any other instrument that has a reed, very little effort, you pick it up and start playing, such as saxophone, bass clarinet, etc. This is a flute. Flute is a woodwind instrument. Originally, they were made from wood, such as the bamboo Japanese shakuhachi flute. It has keys on it, but does not have a reed such as a clarinet. The way you play a flute is as you blow across this little aperture hole, sort of like a soda bottle or a water bottle when you make it whistle, same principle. As you direct your airflow and blow faster, sharper air, the note will change. You can raise it and lower it depending on the type of airstream that you have. When you put that on the rest of the instrument, though, it's a lot prettier sounding. Now, flute is a wonderful instrument. You can play everything from classical to jazz. Uh, and it's not a boy or a girl instrument. If you're a guy and you want to play flute, perfectly acceptable. Not a problem at all. In fact, if you take the flute home and you're sitting there one night and you look at it and you say, Hey, flute, do you mind that I'm playing you? Flute's going to look back at you and say, Dude, I don't care. Actually, that flute's not going to say anything to you. If it does, please talk to your counselor as soon as you get to school the next morning. This is a trumpet. Trumpet is a brass wind instrument. Brass winds are played by buzzing your mouth onto the mouthpiece. When you buzz your lips, the mouthpiece acts as a funnel and focuses all the lip energy and vibration down into a smaller area. Once you place that on the horn, it amplifies that sound and then the pistons, the valves, tune it to make it more pleasing. Trumpet can play very loud, it can play very soft, play a wide range of musical styles. Now one thing is, a lot of people will look at the trumpet and say there's only three valves, so this is an easier instrument. All the instruments take the same amount of effort. They all take 100%. With a trumpet, 
even you only, even though you only do 10% right here, you do 90% with your mouth. So they all take 100% of effort. This is a trombone. Trombone is a brass wind instrument. Trombone has to be one of the coolest instruments in the band. It can do one thing that no other instrument can do, and that's bend notes. It's called a glissando. Just like with the trumpet, you buzz your lips to generate a sound, but then the slide that a trombone has gets to make a little bit of a difference in the way that it plays. You can play really high, you can play really low. This is also one of the best instruments if you decide, hey, I want to play in band, not quite sure what I want to do, but I don't think I want to do woodwinds, I think I want to do brass. This is an excellent choice. From the trombone, you can transition to a euphonium, a baritone, tuba, marching sousaphone, the big one that wraps around your body. The world is yours in the low brass area if you start on trombone. Very, very versatile instrument. As I mentioned earlier, these aren't the only instruments you may find in a band room, but these are the main four choices for you to consider if you're interested in band. Stay safe, stay strong, and let's make music. Hello Dragons, it's me Mr. Kopecki again, and I'm here to talk to you about instruments that you can choose for the orchestra program. In orchestra there are four instruments you can choose. You have the bass, the cello, the viola, and the violin. In the next couple of minutes I'm going to demonstrate each instrument to you. Um, I may make a mistake or two in the process, please don't let that discourage you. But um, let me demonstrate each, each instrument. I will start with the highest instrument that we have, and that is the violin. And this is the instrument that most people choose to play. Okay? It is the highest of the instruments, and this is the one that most people are familiar with. So, uh, violin goes kind of high. All right, and I'm going to just play a little melody on the violin. from one of the songs that our 8th graders worked on. So you can hear the violin goes a little bit high, okay? It's played on your shoulder and every instrument is played with the bow or with your fingers to pluck. All right, so this is the smallest or highest pitch of the instruments. The next instrument in our orchestra program is the viola. Now, as you can probably see, the viola is quite a bit bigger, okay? It plays a little bit lower, but it is played very similar to the violin. It's played on the shoulder, okay? And I can play the same melody that I played on violin. <laughs> play a melody from the song the eighth graders are playing that is especially for the olds. like a violin but you don't like the high pitches, the viola might be a really good choice for you. Now in addition to those instruments, we have the next lowest instrument which is called the cello. I'm going to have to adjust the camera just a little bit here. Okay. Now the one of the things about the cello is that you have to play the cello sitting down. Okay, So I'm far away from the camera, I'm still here. And again, you can still play the same melodies that you play on the violin. And again, I'm going to 
to try to play uh, one of the melodies from the eighth grade song, so you can hear a melody on the cello. <laughs> instrument has a really nice deep rich sound and it can go kind of low. Okay, it's a more low sounding instrument but one of the neat things you get to sit down when you play the cello. Now the final instrument we have takes me a little bit longer to set up. It is the double bass. Let me readjust our camera here. So the double bass is played standing up. It looks very heavy but it's not really that heavy. It's just larger than others. Okay, and once again, you can still play the same melodies as the other string instruments. the cello melody, I'm going to try to play the cello melody on the bass, just like I did, and you can, the bass is quite a bit lower, goes way down there, but you can still play melodies. choices when you join the orchestra. The bass, which is the low one, uh, most often you'll hear the bass playing little bass lines like this. Okay, but it also plays melody. You have the cello, which I showed you before. You have the violin and you have the viola. So, if you have any questions about these instruments, please feel free to contact me. It will be on my email address, be on the information sheet that you get from your teachers. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you in any of our programs, and I hope to see you in the orchestra next year as a dragon. In addition to band and orchestra, we also have a great chorus program. The chorus program has more fl flexibility in scheduling, but they're great opportunities to improve your own singing skills and perform a variety of music. Regardless of whether you're in band, chorus, or orchestra, you'll be learning basic skills as a 6th grader. As you continue in 7th and 8th grade, you'll be able to audition and participate in all county events, all district events, all state events, and competitions. You will also be able to perform for the Moore County community. To wrap up, you'll be receiving a handout with more information about signing up for music classes from your school. If you have questions, you can contact Mr. Kopecki or Ms. Edgerly by emailing us directly or contacting the school. We look forward to seeing you in one of our excellent music programs.